Real life street stars, hold the fuck man, on, up, man. man. It's a fifteen on one takeover, man. man. You already know what it is, man. It's a blessing to have y'all in here. First, foremost, uh, for those that are deaf, done stupid, been living under a rock, man. Uh, Carl, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Let them know what the situation is, real quick. Introduce the team. All right, I'm uh, my name is Carl Crawford. I'm CEO of 1501 Certified Entertainment down in Houston, Texas. You know what I'm saying I'm down here in Dallas with my whole 1501 squad with me. From right to left, we got D Raw, mm-hmm. that's my Tia Marie, <clears throat> Smoothie, yeah. Miss Erica Banks. You know what hey, I'm man. saying? What's... We all just performed here today, and you know what I'm saying, put on a good showing. And we just happy that, uh, you know, we was invited to come, you know, perform for the baby and all y'all. Man, are you, you 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 the biggest thing out of Texas, man, as far as this independent label shit, man. You showing people how to get it done, man. How did you assemble the Avengers, man? Tell us how you put the team uh, together. You know, like I say, I just always. Uh, Look for talent, you know what I'm saying? Something that really grabs me, you know, just personal feelings with stuff. So uh, pretty much I always had this dream to just have an uh, independent label where I can, you know, get artists to, you know, different pipeline, be the pipeline to the majors and all that stuff. So um, just me putting together a big team that y'all see is just kind of like the beginning stages of all the plan I had in the beginning. Man, what hit you first, man? The 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 music or the artist? As far as once you go out and tap in with uh, all these different you know, artists, I mean, of course, it's always the music first. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe if it's like a freestyle or something, yeah. And you can see they have a real skill about them, you know. And you know how hard it is to do that. So, like I say, then if they talk about something or whatever, you know, it just, whatever grabs you and just say, yeah, I believe this person. So that's all my moments. So me. Man, I, I got a question, man, because, you know, like, it's a lot of people that feel like they could just either buy their way into the game or whatever it is. And, you know, you coming from sports and having bread, but you actually pop and, and develop artists. Like, tell them, what is the difference between, like, just throwing money at the game and actually taking uh-huh. time to develop an artist? Uh, I mean, when you just throw money at the game, uh, you know, a lot of times it just go to, go to waste and you'll see how fast, quick, you know, you'll have to run through money in the music industry. Uh, what I learned is that, you know, you have to have relationships along with the money, you know what I'm saying? It goes a long way. Cause uh, without the, to me, the relationships is even even better than money. So um, for people who just come and throw money at, you gonna see all the finesses and they gonna know, they automatically know who those guys are. And you probably gonna get finesse pretty good early on to where you either wanna quit or you gonna think long and hard about, you know, finishing the music. So I got, I got one for D-Raw, man. Young, young, young man in charge, man. When you out there, man, that stage pressure, it stood out. You know what I'm saying? You had good crowd control, like like the songs that you had was hard. Like, where do you get that from? You know, that young and already able to perform, you know? Um, yeah, swing the mic around, swing the mic. Oh, I ain't Yeah, nah, uh, I really grew up around it. So like, you know how like, um, when you got your family in town or whatever, you might have like your mama or your granny, whatever. And they're like, say, I got a dollar if you perform in front of the family while they out there. So I was always that type of nigga. Like I was always entertaining and stuff like that towards my family. But I just took it, I just took it to another level when I started doing it in front of my partners and they was just so surprised by it. So that's how I get it. I always had that energy, you know what I'm saying? So I need a bag. I need a bag. <laughs> get in your bag. I don't need I say I need a bad one, you know what I'm saying? I can't just this one, yeah. you gotta get in your bag. What's, what's the lowest number on a scale of 10 that you can fuck with? <laughs> I can make a five to a ten. I can make. Okay, a now why would you say that? Five to a ten. Don't play like that. Nah, yeah. for real. <laughs> for real. Hey, Valentine's Day coming. You already got somebody some, or you gonna you gonna wait for them to get you some? Um, I got contestants. Ooh, <laughs> contestants. Okay. okay. I got contestants. Okay. Martina, you feeling that way? What you feeling, man? Yeah. I'm feeling like. Um, y'all should go download Daddy and stream it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's and then, talk you know, about it. Yeah, I got an EP coming out on Valentine's Day. Real grown and sexy music. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Like since you mentioned Valentine's Day, you bringing that slow kissing uh, girl on the neck music back. Like you bringing that intimate music back for real. We ain't heard that's shit what the like world that needs. That's yeah. what she said, the world she said I want needs. a baby named after me. Facts. <laughs> you know. <laughs> for some reason, how does it feel to be that R and B doing the R and B thing on the 15 on one team, man? As far as it feel good. It's the vibes is good we make good music over there so it's like you know i'm gonna keep doing it I'm, it works right now so you also do doing. the rap thing too um as far as you have a passion for one or the other you just you get any bag if you know yeah. what it... i started off like writing poetry you know what i'm saying yes. so i never really like grew up wanting to be a rapper i had i never had aspirations to be like a rapper you know what i'm saying it was just like i would write you know and i learned how to put it on a beat and i sounded good so i when oh. i start posting online i start going viral 
And she, I just kept doing it. When a nigga say he went to sleep and nigga, that nigga pimp talked to him in his sleep. You know what I'm saying? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Give us a little insight, Snooty. That nigga said, let me tell you what a pimp talks to me. How to get a dollar out of bed with some booty. I'm telling you. Okay. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's been my favorite shit for months, bro. Uh, I seen that shit. I said, oh man, that thing is trill. It's one of them bloggers in East Texas that post you a trill lot. Talk. Trill, trill talk. talk. Trill, trill talk. Trill talk. Bro, I said this talk. song go too crazy. Come on, That's man. that Texas shit that yeah. I fuck with. That's that like, country Texas yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Yeah. How, how you feel when you see the crowd react, man? Baby brought that thing back a few times, bro. Yeah, I like that, that shit. Hey, yeah, put it right in the yeah. head. You know? I like that <laughs> shit. You feel me? Are you happy that the pandemic over, bro? They get back out here and, and perform in front of people. Get out here and do your yeah, thing yeah. in front of a crowd. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. It, it never was a pandemic for, you know, real hustling shit. We out there. Pandemic. And we see you get up there and freestyle a little bit. Like you got some dough, you got that Texas going. Off the top. Off the dome? Off the ten out. Do you respect a nigga that can't go off the dome? Cause you know, yeah. Houston niggas definitely just be going off the dome. Yeah, like. yeah, but it's, you know, it's a gift for the curse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll curse your ass right at the game. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't do it right, man. Mm. man, oh, man. Speaking Hold of on. balls. God damn it, man. Speaking of spin. Oh, man. Man, damn, the queen of that. I was, was going to say the queen of this rap shit. Yeah, the nigga. queen of this rap who shit, fuck, man. Who the fuck attacking a beat like Erica Banks, man? Come man, on, listen, now. man. We're playing with uh, it. Carl, real quick, man. You know, when Erica first started off, man, you know, just out of Dallas, man. One thing that was real crazy was just her work ethic. Boy, right. it was just insane. It was up there, bro. And uh, she came and blessed us with an interview, and she just said she just manifested everything that she wanted. We seen it. And uh, to see her get to this level, you know, with your assistance, man, how does it feel for you, Erica, and also Carl? How does it feel to be able to take somebody who just had the drive right. and push them to that level? Um, crazy. I feel like really what it happening to me, I feel like it can happen to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's just a matter of working. You know, you keep putting the putting the shit in people's face, they gotta accept it one day. So man, how it's all like just just in general, the ladies at DFW, man, there's a lot of y'all getting signed, like y'all really putting on for the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, how does it feel to be on the forefront for people to look at y'all like I'm trying to be where she at. I'm looking up to her. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, grateful, grateful. You know, I always tell people all the time, I make music for everybody. So it be people, kids, like yeah. people, kids saying what I be saying. You know what I'm saying? And we don't do it for the kids, but yeah. hey, if the kids rock with it, I love it. So I'm just grateful to be a part of the movement out here. What What has been your favorite, your most uh, favorite accolade that they've given you? Whether either an award or shout out or you know, a platform that you're on, what's been your favorite thing as far as in your glow up? Um, being nominated for the AMA Awards, oh, you know, it's like the biggest, the biggest shit. You know what I'm saying? That's Michael Jackson. And you That's Michael with Jackson. Hey, and you leak with Holly Berry now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in the Holly Berry yeah. movie soundtrack. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. hey, you know. Okay, now, Marie, Marie. I, I, I don't toot my horn too much, but if I'm going to toot it, I'm going to toot it the right way. You dig? So, you know, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Man, Carl, how does it feel to be able to change lives like this, man? You done done a lot for a lot of people, man. Uh, not only yourself and your family, but just the artists that you have in yeah. front of you. Well, I mean, you know, this was the plan for all along. <clears throat> it was to come in and like change people's lives, create stars, you know. I didn't think I'd have much success at it so fast, but at the end of the day, we able to get the results and that's because of the hard work we put in. Like I said, when, I mean, like I said, when the corona came through, they they, on, they want to know how we break an artist during the corona, you know, because we kept on hustling, kept on doing what we got to do, found places that was open and we just kept going. So uh, that just shows you the, the we have over here to want to do we have to do by any means necessary. and it seemed like a family like it seemed like y'all really a family around there man but you know when you're an indie label you know you, you have to have present that type of environment because you don't have all the big resources like a uh, major label do so you have to use what you have and you being like close and family network kind of like helps for us to like you know uh, creating your style or just getting better or just whatever you know just trying to create a cool scene for you to be able to work it and hang out. Man, what's the ceiling for you? If you got one. Ceiling? What's the ceiling? I, I, mean, I don't I, I, really I like to put the ceiling on what I can do. I just like to think the sky's the limit because, you know, in this game right here, you can't box a person in, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the industry, that's why I love sports because, you know, I was always going to be in the box for baseball. Like, this right here lets you go left, right, up, down. Like, they, they close this door, you can go to this door and open, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about it. You know, there's a lot of crazy things about it, but the one thing about it is this. No ceiling, it's all about what you want and how bad you want it. Is there any artist, any type of genre, just for the young, hopeful fans out there, any type of genre you wouldn't sign or you trying to stick to a certain lane? That I wouldn't sign? Yeah. 
I would I'll sign anybody if they the yeah. best at what they do. You know there what you go. They there you go. talented, they the best, whatever, there's no limit to what we're doing. There's nothing that you can sit, tell me, oh, man, that's some crazy goofy shit. Like, what you, I'm gonna look at it and say, all right, well, that's you. That might be something, <laughs> just like one man, Trilly Pope, you know what I'm saying? I've been there with Trilly Pope, you Max. know what I'm saying? But I knew it was something different that, you know, everybody ain't seen. It just be like, I'm just like that. I, if it's something that I've never seen before, I'm gonna look into it. There you go, man. There you have it, man. What I want to do is everybody go down, man. Uh, let us know what you got up for 2022. Uh, and give your social media and shout outs. Yeah, I can follow me on Instagram at d.rawwofficial. I got Golden Child on the way. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. A whole bunch of versatile shit, a whole bunch of star shit, a whole bunch of real shit. Let's do it. Martina Marie, go follow me on Instagram at Original Martina Marie. Y'all can go wait for my EP on February 14th, but go stream Daddy on all streaming platforms. Valentine's Day. Hey, Smoothie Poppy, you know how I'm rocking like a cut off stocking, man. Okay then, man. Okay then. Yo, real smooth talker, man. Look, go follow me on IG at Smoothie Poppy, S M O O D Y P O P P I. Uh, Tessa Canna Baby 2 coming soon, uh, new mixtape coming. Uh, it's going to be a bunch of videos, a bunch of singles. You feel me? I'm, 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 I want to flood. Hey, man. It's your girl Erica Banks, also known as the Flow Queen. Make a nigga slow down like coding, you dig? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we got... <laughs> you see what I did? No, you see what I did? <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. You can follow me on all platforms at Real Erica Banks. We got the um new single Slim Waist coming out February 25th. So tune in. Let's go crazy. I just can't wait to get all this new music out to y'all so y'all can hear it, jam it, and you know, uh support us whenever we do put out even more music. There you go, man. There you have it, man. We like to tell people, man, don't get too lit to forget, man. Come back and fuck with us, man. Yeah, man. Sit in front of them lights, man. Real life three stars. Y'all know how we do it, man. We got the 15 on one camp in the building, man. For real. Y'all awesome real life three stars. Hey. Shout out real life three stars, nigga. Move.